Hello there, it's me, sitting here talking to you for the first time in, I don't really know to be honest, I just wanted to talk about, well, do you know, this, this is kind of just going to be a video of just me just chatting and rambling. I mean, the state of the world that we're in right now, obviously I'm assuming, <laughs> you know, that we're all still within, you know, that we're in within world isolation or whatever because of COVID-19 which has drastically changed all of our lives. Some, I don't know, well I know, none for the better, <laughs> some for the worst, and some just have to poodle along. Likewise myself, I am uh, stuck at home, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's strange. Because things are just different. We can't go out anymore. We can't go to places we normally would. We can't do what we normally would. A lot of people aren't going to work, a lot of people aren't, well no, no one is supposed to be, I don't know about necessarily rules in other countries, but here in England, no one is supposed to be seeing anybody outside of their household. Nobody's supposed to be within six feet of one another. Everybody is supposed to be following distancing rules and it's strange because the only time I ever really go out is to go to the supermarket. And even then, I've got to wear, like, I've got a mask, I've got, like, uh, my latex gloves. It's all just a little bit, well, it's gone a little bit mad, for for understandable and obvious reasons, of course. But it all just seems a bit strange. And I don't think nobody, I don't think anyone quite knows what's going on. And I think in these times, within this isolation period, it's important to stay connected. It's important to be there for one another. It, it's it's important that you communicate with your family and your friends and your loved ones because it's a basic human instinct that we strive for connection and companionship. And to an extent, we are being starved of this right now. And so, whatever you can, you know, ring, ring people, FaceTime. What's this new, you know, Zoom call, Skype whatever and even if even if you know you you happen to see someone down the street or you you choose to you know see somebody as long as you're standing at a safe distance and you're talking from i don't know one side of the pavement or the road to the other or whatever or you're passing by in your car or if you ring on you know your family or friend's door and stand in the doorway while they stand in the hallway you know that's all fine, apparently. Nobody really knows what's going on. Can you hug somebody? I'd certainly like to. We've been told not to. It might be fine, but it probably isn't. But we don't know. It's all a little bit confusing right now. But it gives us time to process and it gives us time to think. And one positive I can take away from this is that, is, is that the Earth itself, in a way, it's like it's trying to heal. I've barely seen any aeroplanes in the sky. There's barely any traffic on the streets. You rarely hear a train running. You know, uh, it's like in a way the planet is fighting back. Which I know sounds so... I don't know. However you take it. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe this is what's needed. And yeah, I... miss the people I can't see. We've, as in family-wise, sadly, had a very dear family friend pass away just before Corona began. But we're still really struggling to deal with that now. It was very sudden and it was very sad. And now no one can see each other. You know, we can't see the people we need to see. You have to make do and you have to just speak to people how you can. Like I said, phone them, video chat, whatever. It's a very strange time and again, at the risk of repeating myself, now more than ever, we, we need to come together. In a way, it can be a good thing, because it, it gives us time to have, I don't know, not necessarily a break, but some time to sit back and just assess. It gives us time to do things we might not necessarily have done, we might have put on the back burner, for example, for those of you who are still interested, I actually have been getting back into my editing, and been editing a lot more of my audios that are to come out hopefully fairly soon. So, you know, it gives time to for us to process and it gives us time to heal and to really think about our place. 
and yeah, you know, it, it, it can be difficult sort of being stuck inside. I, I'm probably a case in point right now because I'm rambling about stuff I never normally ramble about in these videos and I cut all my hair off. Pulled a Britney. You know, it's gone. Bye bye. <laughs> but the main point of this video, the main point of being in isolation, being away from one another, is that we can still be connected. And we can still have that human connection that we, we strive for, that we need. And you've got to find love within one another. Because now is not the time for any pain or hardships or suffering. Now is the time for community and togetherness and support and to really show the best of our species rather than the worst that we as a we as humans often portray to each other you know i mean this time's been really difficult and you know, i'm sure a lot of you are really struggling and it's difficult when people around you are sad too because it all feels like we're sort of contained, even though we're not. I can walk out of my house right now if I want to. I can walk down the street. But I can't go into the houses of people I want to visit. I can't see the other people I love. I can't go into any shops unless I'm shopping for food, which, you know, in itself is a mission. But if we, again, all just take a breather and all just relax, which I think we are now doing, Everything is getting back on track, everything is becoming better. And I think soon, as long as we all just pull together as one, we can get through this time and we can beat this time and be the best versions of ourselves that we should be. So, in this period of isolation, in this struggling, difficult time, take care of one another, love one another, be kind to one another, support one another, and just so importantly, talk to one another. Just speak to your friends, speak to your family, speak to your loved ones, do what you can, because we all need to be, we all need to pull together, we all need to come together as one, because then it's not so bad. And yes, some of us can be luckier than others in this situation. I, I myself recently finally passed my driving test. <laughs> so I now have a car and, you know, without it, I, th this whole situation would be so much different for me personally on a personal level. It's really helped, you know, it, it's just that extra bit of help that is very much needed because I can use the car to go to the shops, I can use the car to drive to people's houses and stand in the doorway and say hello while they're at the other end of the hall, you know, or stand in their front gardens while they're at the door or whatever, you know, you get my point. It's... Just be good, you know, just be good to each other. And then in this time of aloneness, in this time of separation, social confinement and seclusion. You won't be so alone. And it will be okay. Because we all will pull through together. See you on the other side.